Hi YouTube. This is a video about how I treated a MRSA infection uh, and it went away without any antibiotics and it is a much safer method that I invented. Um, now as with all experimental medical devices and ideas and procedures you need to use common sense um, in the fact that if you try this method when you have a small MERS infection if you have reoccurring MRSA and it doesn't work well enough you need to go to the doctor and get some antibiotics and get it taken care of so please use a little common sense and I'm not saying that this idea or procedure will work on everybody and I'm not sure how bad it will work on a major infection but I'm just going to put this out to the world. Um, a little background. Uh, my name is Matthew McPherson and I used to work on Tomahawk missiles for the US Navy. I'm a veteran. Um, so I understand a lot about electromagnetism, light, physics, uh, plus I'm a nerd so I read a lot from quantum physics to string theory, theory of relativity, just a hodgepodge of different subjects, but I'm really interested in the theory of reality. Anyway, enough about that. Um, I've had MERS infections about 15 times. I've been hospitalized three times uh, at the VA medical centers. Uh, one time for 12 days, almost lost my leg. Another time I think it was eight, and another time for seven. And they gave me vancomycin, which is really strong medicine. So I am have really strong reoccurring MRSA. Um, and I probably had it over a dozen times outside the hospital and they gave me a sulfamed. And then one time I went to Ohio State University and they gave me something called tetracycline. Uh, because I've had antibiotics so many times, it just messes up your stomach, your, you know, because it wipes out a lot of the good bugs and stuff. So anyway, Here's my invention or my procedure for how I got rid of MRSA. What you will need, a towel. Um, there's an ointment, which you don't have to have. You need prescription for it, so you can do without it. But here's the ointment. Now, there's something you can get at CVS uh, or Walgreens, most, most CVS Walgreens. If not, get it on the internet. It's called Staphyseptic. Now, it has been proven as the best topical treatment, but by itself, it's not sufficient. And as you will see, uh, actually, you can't. Uh, anyway, and then you will need Epsom salt. Now, what you, what you first do is you get a clean container. Oh, sorry. Put a little Epsom salt in it. Now Epsom salt is good because it, if you have a pus head, or a small infected head, it helps draw the infection out. Now, what you want to do is you put some salt in a little clean container. Make sure everything's sterilized. Get some of the staph septic. Squeeze that staph stick in it. Then you want to mix it. Make a nice paste out of it. Now you want to test just because this solution right here is a lot stronger than they recommend as far as putting Epsom salt on your body. So go ahead and just test it on a spot first. And if you don't have a skin reaction, then go ahead and put it on your wound. But go ahead and test it. Wait a couple hours to see if you have a reaction. Just on, be on the safe side. Okay, now what you see here is a 400 watt um, bulb and a 400 watt power supply. This is actually I got a Craigslist and it is actually a, which you can't see, but it is a GE R400 multi vapor. Now there's much better bulbs in this. Now the medical research is if you go on Google, type in 400 nanometer light MRSA. 400 nanometer light is a spectrum of light 
between two and four hundred nanometers will actually penetrate your skin and will kill MRSA. Now there is a product on the web that sells these little LED, 12 watt LEDs, but uh, I don't think the LEDs, first of all, they don't produce heat. And you need heat for this to properly work. And second of all, uh, they're bad on your eyes, you have to wear goggles, they're not really that safe. And additionally, um, uh, this is much higher wattage. So, uh, I wish I would have shown you my MERS infection, which I cured with this method. But you can see the scar on it. Sorry, my, my toes are really ugly. But as you can see right here, this is the leftover from my MERS infection. Now, it was a pretty big, it was a pretty decent sized pus head about three days ago, and I didn't put any antibiotics. It doesn't hurt, and it works much quicker. And what you do is you take some of the solution. Put it on your little wound. Then what you do is, uh, as far as a device, you can go to any hydroponic store or on the web uh, for like indoor grow, and you can get a 400 watt back end. 250 would probably be enough, and just go ahead and get the bulb. You don't need that cover. You can, or you can make your own. Go ahead and plug it in. Now, as you see, this bulb gets really bright. Now, if you looked at the, at the spectrograph of this bulb, you know, if you're a nerd and you like to look at, you know, scientific stuff and give me and have you, me give you a scientific reason, if you look at the spectrograph of this bulb, it's a broad spectrum, so it has anywhere from 200 nanometers to 800 nanometers, and that's what plant in, uh, plants like to grow in, and an outdoor door sun is. And this bulb actually produces massive amounts of heat. That's why actually uh, those there's uh, in there's indoor uh, um, heaters that actually use bulbs like this with a with a squirrel cage fan that blows against it. So what you do is you got to be real careful. You what, let this heat up for about five minutes, and then after it heats up for about five minutes, you put your wound. You know, close enough to the bulb so it's nice and warm, but don't burn yourself. So be really careful. Um, now, if you actually want to make a commercial version of this, you need to put a screen in front of it and use a squirrel cage fan that blows against this. And you probably want to keep this about 110 degrees. But just for a jerry rig home use system, you take something like this and you take a towel. And go ahead and cover it. Use your foot in it. And what it does is, it heats up the Epsom salt and heats up the staph septic, which is a uh, first aid antiseptic which has been studied, which works fairly well to kill MRSA. And that opens your pores for the Epsom salt and the staph septic to get inside there. Additionally, prior to antibiotics, the Western world used to use, there's like a book from the 1800s, it's called Rational Hydrotherapy. Um, which they would use cold and hot compresses or cold and wa hot water and anytime you have an infection on an extremity you want to increase blood flow the more blood flow you get flowing the more your immune systems your white blood cells and all your immune systems will go and circulate and additionally whenever you have a f your body whenever you have an infection creates a fever when you have a fever your immune system is more or when you have elevated uh, temperature in your blood in an air you have a greater ability to fight infection so this bulb you can see it's really bright will heat your foot up you know it's like probably 100, 100 degrees don't get it too close to burn yourself um, so and, and then when it gets too hot go ahead and pull your foot out and then go ahead and put your foot back in now I do this three times a day for about 10 minutes and when I did this it worked twice as quick as vancomycin which is the most powerful antibiotic that you can get which they give you in the hospital and probably four times quicker than sulfa med sulfa the sulfa meds or the tetracycline anyway feel free to use this idea build this idea 
Um, you can't patent this idea because this is my idea and this is I give this to the world. Uh, there was a guy who invented the polio vaccine and the reason why polio was eradicated is because he never patented his vaccine. He gave it to every pharmaceutical company which created competition which made the price really low and it enabled people to treat polio and eradicate polio. Well, I hope that in the same way that the inventor of the polio vaccine used that to get rid of polio, I hope that using a combination of heat, Epsom salt, and light therapy, that in the same way that we can get rid of MRSA. Last year, 15,000 people uh, have died in, in just the United States, more people than AIDS of MRSA. Uh, inspiration of uh, this video, um, when I was in Navy, there was a special French lady, um, just a really good person, and uh, really cared. Anyway, I, uh, this video and kind of the inspiration to not build it and to not actually make a commercial version of this, to actually sell as a medical device to make a lot of money rather than just to give it to the web. Uh, she was my inspiration. Anyway, love you girl. Bye.